Hey guys, welcome back to the math office. Today, our topic is going to be corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are a pair of angles that are formed by two lines and a transversal, and they share similar or corresponding positions with each other. What do I mean by that? Let's take a look at my picture here. Up here we have four angles, and over here we have another four angles. And these angles are formed by two lines and a transversal, which is one of our requirements. Now, in this section of four right here, let's take a look at angle one for an example. Angle one is the upper left angle of this section. Okay, It's in an upper left position. Now let's look at this section of four down here. Angle five is also in an upper left position in relation to this group of four. Okay, So angle one and angle five are both in the same relative position in their group of four. So angle one and angle five form what's called a corresponding pair of angles. Angles two and six are another corresponding pair. Angles three and seven are another corresponding pair. And angles four and eight are also a corresponding pair. These are angles that are all in the same positions in relation to where they are in this picture. Now let's take a look at what happens when we have corresponding angles that are formed by two parallel lines and a transversal. When parallel lines come into the picture, corresponding angles have a special property called the corresponding angles postulate. The corresponding angles postulate states that if a corresponding pair of angles is formed by two parallel lines and a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent to each other. Let's take a look at an example. Now, I just said that angles 1 and 5 are a corresponding pair. Now, let's say that angle 1 is equal to 125 degrees. By the corresponding angles postulate, we can also say that angle 5 is 125 degrees because corresponding angles, in this case, are congruent to each other. So angles 1 and 5 are equal to 125 degrees. Now, if I give you this picture, you can actually figure out all eight angle measures if I only give you this one, because there are different types of angle pairs in this picture. For example, angles 1 and 4 are a vertical pair. So angle 4 is also 125 degrees. Likewise, angles 5 and 8 are also a vertical pair, or angles 4 and 8 are a corresponding pair. Either way, 8 is also going to be 125 degrees. Okay. Uh, let's jump back up here. Angles 1 and 2 form a supplementary pair. So their angle measures have to add up to 180 degrees. That means angle 2 is 55 degrees. Angles 2 and 3 form a vertical pair, or angles 2 and 6 form a corresponding pair. So both angle 3 and angle 6 are going to be 55 degrees. And then finally, angle 7, there's a number of ways to figure out which, which, uh, what it's equal to. Um, but angle 3 and angle 7 are a corresponding pair. Angle 6 and angle 7 are a vertical pair. So either way you look at it, angle 7 is going to be 55 degrees. Okay, so that's how we can apply corresponding angles and some of our previously learned angle pairs to figure out the angle measures in this picture. All right, we have one more example, and we're going to use some algebra this time. We have two angles here, 7x minus 9 and 5x plus 5. Now, these are corresponding angles. We know that they're congruent because these two lines are parallel. So we can use that fact to set up an equation to solve for x. That equation is this. 7x minus 9 equals 5x plus 5. Got my plus sign there. All right. Now we just have to use some algebra to solve for x, and we've solved this problem. Let's subtract 5x off both sides first. So minus 5x, minus 5x, 2x minus 9 equals 5. And then we just have to add 9 to both sides, plus 9, plus 9, 2x equals 14, then divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, 
Twos cancel out on the left side. X equals 14 over 2 is equal to 7. So there you go. There's a quick example using corresponding angle postulate and algebra. And that's all the time we have for the math office today. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you. There we go. Again soon. Yes, you.